Personalized medicine is a, a, a move away from this one size fits all approach to medicine where in general uh, people are treated with uh, the same drug as a first line treatment. Uh, that's not always the case, but it's generally the case. And that's against a background where we have an aging population, people are growing older. Uh, medicine represents the biggest uh, and, uh, and most expensive medical intervention and treatment. And that's against a background where for 90% uh, or more of prescribed medications, they don't work in 30 to 50% of the, of the cases. After the completion of the Human Genome Project, it's now possible to read our individual genomes and in many cases determine what diseases we may be likely to develop throughout our lifespan. But our, that doesn't determine our destiny, our, our genetic uh, deck of cards, our hand of cards uh, doesn't determine our destiny uh, and our, our behaviour and interventions can change that. So if we know we're predisposed to a particular condition, we can modify our lifestyle or our behaviours uh, to try and offset or delay the onset of disease. There's huge opportunities, but there's multiple challenges. The challenges would, for example, be the storage of the data. It requires huge amounts of data. Each of our genomes will take up about a terabyte of space, uh, equivalently one laptop. So just storing our genome information alone is a huge challenge. And you add that to our, all our clinical and lifestyle data that all needs to be stored. And that stored information then has to be analyzed using uh, very advanced computational methods when you hear people talk about artificial intelligence. Uh, so the challenge is storing the data and using advanced computational tools to analyze that data. So as part of the city deal, our Thrive project will sequence and collect the genome information, but we will work with our other uh, city deal uh, uh, projects such as Carol and Cedra where they will assist us with analysing the data using advanced analytics. And that's how we are complementary and interact with each other. The other thing that we want to do is we want to have the community as uh, partners in this and have ownership of this. So we're proposing to create a community healthcare company um, where the public who contribute their genetic information or their clinical data or their biological samples aren't just participants, they are actual shareholders and they have a shareholding modelled on the credit union model where they have a shareholding in this community healthcare company. And that data that's collected will be owned by that company and it will enter into other partnerships with the pharmaceutical uh, and diagnostics and data analytics sector to generate revenue that is returned uh, to that company, that community healthcare company, and that can be reinvested for future health initiatives determined by a community board. We have been doing personalised medicine here for you know a number of years now, since 2013. We're one of the uh, one of the leaders, and the, we're probably one of the biggest critical mass and capability in personalised medicine in Northern Ireland. So this city data is an expansion of that global priority and uh, the life and health sciences sector in Northern Ireland is generally uh, really productive. It generates about a billion pounds per year and so we want to grasp this opportunity and expand personalised medicine further in Derry uh, and in Northern Ireland generally because that will create a lot of innovative high value jobs in the data analytics sector in the biomedicine diagnostics so it'll present opportunities for developing new diagnostics new apps uh, new tools you can imagine collecting all this data will will require innovation on apps that in itself is an opportunity it's going to expand Citric here in the Elton Galvin site and it will expand uh, the McGee site on the Strand Road, creating a health sciences innovation corridor running all the way down the Strand Road and bringing the university down onto the riverfront. So we really look forward to the rollout and the development of Thrive and working with the local community as partners uh, in the region.